AI, artificial intelligence, absolutely taking the internet by storm, the world by storm. And it's meant to be out there to help improve our lives, make things easier, make sense of things. So I thought I'd put it to the test today, well actually recently, uh, Adobe Photoshop, which is what I use to do a lot of photo editing, has released AI integration into Photoshop, which basically means I can technically, theoretically, tell the computer what I want and it will just create it. That's what we're going to be doing today. But before we get into that, I do have a giveaway. It's been a little bit, a little bit of time since I've done it on the channel. Now, Pit Viper, awesome news. They are, I'm going to say they're available in Australia. Essentially, what you used to have to do is import them or you just get fake ones. They are Australian available now, so you don't have to get the fake ones. You don't have to import them. We do have local distributors. So, I've got a bunch here. These are my favorite, the old flip-ups. They'll flip offs. Believe it or not, there are a ton of different designs from Pit Viper, heaps of random ones, some eyewear, safety glasses, looky ones, your usual Pit Viper 2000s, heaps of stuff, straps, no straps, going out, just all sorts of stuff. I'll uh, put a link to the website below. But from all these sets that they've sent me, I'm gonna be giving them away. So over the next few weeks, if you wanna win a pair, all you gotta do is comment down below and let me know how you're enjoying the channel. Tell me about your four-wheel drive. Just any comment, any comment about the video, about what's coming up on the channel, will get you an entry. I'm just gonna pick someone random from the comments in this video, um, send you a photo of all the pairs that we have available, and essentially you pick a couple and I'll send them out to you. It's that easy. So that's gonna be happening in this video um, and we'll be picking the winners next episode. Alrighty, we don't need sunglasses at the moment because it's dark. Let's jump straight into it. I've already got one here. It's the classic built not bought 80 series, the Van Cruiser. So, I'm gonna start off simple. Hopefully, all you gotta do is essentially click this one here, select a section of the vehicle. So let's go, let's make the bonnet pink, all right? And then you go generative fill, change bonnet color to pink. I don't know how descriptive you've gotta be with this, but let's see what it goes. So it gives a little bit of time. This should be a simple one. Just changing a color. Oh, okay, what? Bonnet, did I spell bonnet right? What is that, a rag? Okay, that's not even pink. Okay, okay so we've got a pink, uh, uh, okay, a pink rag over the bonnet. Uh, what even is that? But look what it does to the, the headlights. Okay, so they're both just things thrown on top. Let's just go with this middle one. It's not pink, but it's the only thing that looks half like a car. I give that a five out of, not even. I give that a two out of 10. AI is not doing well. Okay, let's try something else. Something, okay. Snorkels. Pull out the windscreen and let's add dual snorkel. Dual, how do you spell dual? Dual, that's it. Dual snor, I can't spell. Snorkel. Okay, roof rack. What? Is that a Prius? I feel like I've just thrown a Prius on top there. That's, none of them have a snorkel in it. Not even an oceanic snorkel. Okay, we're gonna do one more modification. This is what we're gonna do. Three modifications per car. Uh, let's go wheels, all right? We should be able to highlight these tires and we'll add, we'll go for something chunky. So we've got two selections here for each tire. Four wheel drive mud tire. Oh. We're experiencing high demand. Please wait and retry soon. What do you mean high demand? Is this is this like, there's a guy on the other end of the internet doing all this for people. Oh God. Okay, that, that looks like it's something off of a quad. There's mud on the tires in that one. Technically that's right. Okay, what we can do now, we can make an adjustment. So we'll go monster truck tire. There we go, now we're talking. Boots, boots, oh. Change the bull bar as well, but that's okay, that's no good. And then we have, that first one looks half all right. I kind of like that. That's pretty cool. Fun fact, now I actually did a bit of a test run with this off camera. Now I'm gonna show you what I did then. And I have used the exact same descriptions and I've got a different result, which makes me think this isn't a consistent thing. AI just makes up its own mind at the time. Have a look at this. Pink bonnet, dual snorkel and tires, and this is what we got. Very different result. I mean, the tires are pretty similar. I went with one of the sheets, but then up here, instead of snorkels, they've given me like big mirrors. But the headlights look sick. Very different vehicles with the three same instructions. 
Let's move on to some different cars. Alrighty, we've got another car here. We're gonna to stick to the theme of 80 series. We've got Sam Young's 80 series. Now he's building this at the moment. I thought, why not? Let's go hangry with the photoshopping. Hangry? Three things. We need something on the roof. So let's select the roof. Let's make it easy. In uh, do you have to say install? Okay, we'll just type in roof rack, roof rack. It knows it's a roof, roof rack. See what happens. Okay, so well it is a roof rack, but it's been put on sideways. Surfboards? I, it looks like there's a roof rack here and they've put stuff on the roof. Okay, let's go with this one. It makes it look like it's been used for things. It's like a, I don't know, Chippy's Ute or whatever. All right, now we need to, we need to sort out what's under the bonnet here, under the hood. And we're gonna say, super charger out of the bonnet. Supercharger out sticking. Now it's gone for a 1FZ in this. 1FZ turbo, very similar to mine, but we should have gone with the supercharger, as you're about to see. Oh my God. Okay, well I just wanted it out, out of the bonnet. Oh, that looks sick. Okay, well that's a Cummins. Not a supercharger, but it's a Cummins. I wonder where it gets its references from. What, like, what's supercharger about that? I know it's not a supercharger, but it's, I don't know, it looks all right. I mean, it could be a supercharger under that bonnet. It's essentially added a bonnet scoop. One more thing, should we go up here or down here? Uh, uh, mm. Okay, let's change the surface. Let's, talk, let's think outside the box, outside the car. Uh, highlight the whole ground and say gravel road, gravel road under, mm, if I go under car, I feel like it's gonna add a car. I think that's what it's doing, it's adding too much. I just don't know whether it's gonna replace the wheels or not. If I go under car, is it gonna leave the wheels? But if I write under car, it might put a car on there as well, interesting. Oh, it changed the wheels, it did. Oh no, oh no. This looks like an old Dodge now. That's, okay, these are pretty cool, but I'm gonna give it one more go and say gravel road under car. Because that's what I was confused about. Under car, under wheels. Gives us three more options. And by the way, once we do this, I want you guys to vote for the favorite Photoshop. We've got six or seven cars we're gonna be doing here. Vote for your favorite. I wanna know, comment down below, and it'll be on my Instagram as well. No, it hasn't worked either. It changes the wheels. All right. I will say the, the quality of the gravel is good. Like the way it executes is good. It just doesn't quite understand. Which one do you like? I kind of like this. I kind of like this one. Let's stick with this one. All right, we're gonna start a new car here. Who have we got? Oh, Pooley. Pooley's Cruiser. This is gonna be good. Now straight away, I'm seeing this massive area behind him. We have, to, there's one thing that can be done here. Police car. I'm curious about what police they're going to use here. Whether it's obviously not going to be Australian. Like, which country do they pick? Is it going to be just a generic cop car? I'm not sure. It could be a Lambo. I'm probably going to say it's not even going to be a car at all. Okay. Okay. The direction's not good. <laughs> um, oh God. What? What country is that from? Ah. Oh, mm-hmm. We want it facing the other way. I don't like this. But we're going to go with this one which looks like it's just come straight from Sam's country. Well, let's make it easy. Let's make it nature. Giraffe. Whoop. Also guys, while we're watching this, you'll see I'm wearing our brand new merch. If you haven't seen on the Instagram, we have launched the new website. So what we've done is a bit of a base collection. Now everything on the site joins with itself. So we're, the idea is to do combos. The hoodie goes with the pants, goes with the trackies, goes with the shorts. All the t-shirts match up with the shorts and the trackies, so you can't get it wrong. We did have a lot of orders come through last week, so if you wanna get in quick before they sell out, um, because we're gonna be restocking very soon for the Sydney show after that, so go check it out. Oh, are we almost done? G yes, that is sick! I like this. The quality of that giraffe, I mean, it doesn't look realistic, but it looks cool. Look at that, it's like a skeleton, a skeleton giraffe. Oh man, oh man, okay, that's changed the bull bar, I don't like that. Oh yeah, they've all, that's changed the front as well, I didn't realize that. Um, this one's good. Okay, one more thing, let's do roadkill. What is, what is it gonna think roadkill is? Oh no, the generated images were removed because of the guidelines. So, it recognized roadkill as a bloody gory scene. I, I dare say, He's been pulled over by the cops because he's killed a couple of things on the road and there's a giraffe in his way. Anyway, all right, I had to, I had to. This is Shauno's Dirty 30. So, it looks like he's got a bit of a storm happening in the background. Let's fix that. 
You need blue skies in this scene. Get rid of the clouds, you know. This one should be an easy one. It should look really good. Okay, this is good. This is a good transition from blue to storm. Oh, that's better. Let's go with this one. All right, now, we need a chicky babe on the front of this thing. We need to add a model. Now, we'll say, let's, let's put in an action word. Add a model. Oh, yes. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, male model. There's something you're not telling us, Mr. Shawno. Okay, okay. What is with her legs? Something's gone wrong there. Oh, this kind of works well with her elbow. I might go with that one. Her legs are just not good there. One more thing out the back. Let's, uh, should we shoot some flames or do we add a kangaroo? I think we're at a boxing kangaroo. I think that's a bit more Aussie, a bit more suiting to this scene. We're on the beach, we've got a chicky babe, the sun's out. Boxing kangaroo. Oh dear lord, it's changed the car again. Oh, where's the boxing? Actually, that works actually. Okay, but uh, these ones, terrible. I give that a two out of 10. <laughs> we're moving on. We're moving on to Weston's car. Now, Weston is an American YouTuber, good mate of mine. I say he's a good mate of mine because he replied to me once on Instagram. This I chose because it's a great canvas. There's a lot of like blank space around this. Uh, just something around the bonnet is missing. What can we add? I feel like if we go supercharger again, it's just not gonna work. So let's just go fire. <laughs> oh, the bonnet's open. And there's a tiny fire there. What is that? There we go. They've put a fire on top of the bonnet. Mm. All right, I can't help myself with this. There's a person in the photo. Let's do it. Pink cowboy hat. Honestly, sometimes I wonder how I got here. Axel! Oh, it changes face, but that's sick. Okay. Uh, cowboy boots or mini skirt, or should we put something in the background? Oh, let's go buildings. Uh, let's add in skyscrapers. This is, uh, this is the most accurate one I've seen so far. I'm really liking the way this is coming together. It doesn't look photoshopped, if you get what I mean. It hasn't messed with the original image too much. Okay, one skyscraper, we need more skyscrapers. There we go, there we go, there we go. We want those ones. Now, I wonder if I can move that. Can we select? There we go, we need to move, oh, okay. Let's move on. Alrighty, the Delica, the Delica Delica is back. Man, I miss this car and this is the perfect photo. Now, the thing already looks photoshopped. Obviously, the way that we've painted the thing. Let's select and put something on the roof. We always wanted a rooftop bar, so let's put on a rooftop bar. Nope, nope, I wanna read it. That is not what I was thinking. I think we just need to people partying. Then it looks like a rooftop bar. What they've done is just put a roof on the roof. Let's give this another crack. If you made it this far in the episode, I congratulate you because <laughs> this is definitely something different. You must be very bored at home. Oh yeah. Oh, they're partying. Oh yeah. Oh man, I don't know which one I like more. Probably none of them. I'm probably gonna stick with one of these. Now Mitch and I are doing some, uh, what can he be holding? Uh, what can he be holding here? His arms up. Let's just add another person, um, a photographer. Oh, it's a camera. Uh, what is that? Okay, that has not gone well. This one's a zero out of 10. A photographer is not a camera. Let's, let's thing outside of the box here and go real crazy. Down the bottom here, I wanna add just the ocean. I think I need to be more descriptive. I keep adding one or two words. Maybe we need to write a sentence. Oh! That looks really good as I'm eating my fudge. Number one. Oh, that is, that's up, boy, that looks sick. See this, how it's got the reflection? Now the second one's cool. Because it looks like the car's moving through the water. Let's go more descriptive this time. Okay, this one's interesting. This is Marty and Moog's uh, Mighty Car Mods build for their trip over to America with Roadkill. Already there's a lot going on. Spotlights, turbo, a whole lot of stuff. Now the front of this can be changed, but we want to get real descriptive. I wonder if we can put a certain type of front of car on. Where's my, hold on. Pick a type of front of car, like just like a 1969 uh, Dodge Charger front, grill and headlights. Is that too descriptive? We'll soon find out. 
No, 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 no. It does not know what the front of a Dodge looks like. Oi, that's a Subaru though. Let's turn this thing into an Impreza. Well, it is an Impreza, but anyway. Okay, that's cool. Not what I asked for, but that's cool. All right, let's try in opposite. Instead of adding something, let's go remove tree. Now, what's gonna be interesting about this is what's it gonna replace it with? The sky, I mean, it doesn't know what's there. When you remove something out of an image, you need to work out what's behind that thing you removed. Is it gonna be sky, is it gonna be a building? We may reveal the answer to life here. Oh, okay, so they've removed the tree and put another tree. Oh, they've removed the bushes of the tree. Okay, it's autumn. But see the buildings there, that's good, I like that. Okay, okay, they've reduced the size of the tree. Give that a five out of 10. I mean, the execution is good, but it's not what I asked for. Last thing, let's go. The floor is lava. We've got one more after this and it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a cracker, I can't wait. Oh yeah, that looks really good. It doesn't blend in with the image and I'll show you why, look at this. See, it just moves around. That's cool, okay, looks like they're about to draw one. I think I'll leave it at that one, that one's cool. All right, this next one, Brie, Brie Voto. Now, I chose this one because she's out the front of a 7-Eleven store, which immediately makes me want to change that. So, let's go McDonald's. What's gonna be funny is it's gonna be McDonald's on the top half, but inside's actually a server. What is that? Okay, this is probably to do with the licensing thing. That's not good, not good. This whole thing's been ruined, I wanna start again. Last car is Mr. Mac Preston, Mac Daddy. Now speaking of Mac Daddy, we're going, he's, he's got a beautiful daughter now, Zalia, so we need to add a playground on the back of the 79. What's funny is this image, it looks like there's a slide already, so they could, the kids could go up there, come down the slide on the cruiser, out through the playground. That's the plan anyway. Okay, that's like just a very close up of a set of monkey bars. Uh, huh, very close up. Not what I wanted, but we'll run with it. Now, I wanna get fictional. We haven't been fictional yet. This is all things we wanna add in real life. This is something that doesn't actually exist in the real world, like red rain or red storm. What's gonna happen here to suit our red playground? What? Oh, oh, okay, so that's red umbrella. It's like raining. It's taken the word red and the word rain. Now, do we add another wheel or do we... Okay, we're gonna add another wheel. <laughs> add four drive wheel. Could have put mud tire. As we've learned before, it probably would have made sense here. It's gonna be a six by six, baby. Oh, that is real. Look at that. They've taken the middle of this and matched it. Huh, what, what, that's nothing. Right, okay, the first one's the only one that makes sense. We've got a six by six with the playground in the back, raining red. So there's our cars. I'll put them all up on the screen here. And I want you to let me know in the comments what is the best edit? And do you rate, that one's so good. That is, that's my favorite. Do you rate Photoshop AI edition? Is it any good? Will I be using it for thumbnails? Probably not in the future, but the good news is this will be getting only better and better as time goes on and people start using it. So anyway, next week we're gonna be back in the shed. We're building uh, Guy's Shorty. We do have that, there was a bit of a delay. Well, not a delay, I've thrown this in as a bit of a filler because I've been out at Fink for the last couple of weeks doing that kind of stuff and we're still waiting on some parts for that Shorty. So that'll be hopefully in next week. Make sure you support Guy. We've got that specific sticker for him. 100% of the profits will be going to Guy. Jump over and grab that. It's on the merch website. Brand new website was set up with all this gear as well. Go check it out. We'll see you next week.